All right, guys, this video is about you. This is super important, and I think it's gonna be tremendously impactful for your whole life. Now, here's a little bit about me, Andrew Marie. Um, our mission is to help a little guy go full time. We've obviously had a lot of success in network marketing. Um, there's our newest edition on the left of the screen. Um, he's about six months now. And then there's my, uh, my boy in the middle, Jack who I coach soccer in the, in the summer, and uh, he loves it that we have time to do that. Some awards that we've run, uh, that we've won in network marketing and building a business. And I just wanna do that so you can kind of understand that I'm a real person too, that I have a family, and that family is very important to me, and that's kind of the message behind this video. So our goal really is helping the little guy go full time. Well, what does that mean? That means you know helping the average person use the internet to create income, to create leverage, so that they can get off the rat race and really you know, have a great life with their family. Now there's three options that are gonna happen in this, in this video, and you are going to be, pick one of these options um, automatically. So one of them you're gonna end up doing. And that's why it's really important to understand what these options are so you can kind of understand how it works for you and you know, what, the, what the process is. But first, I want to give you a little lesson from Rich Dad. In the top left, you'll see a uh, screenshot, a picture that I took from the, the Cash Flow for Kids uh, board game, which we bought for our, our son. And it's actually a pretty cool game. Um, so here's the big picture put in a nutshell. Assets are what put money in your pocket and liabilities take money out of your pocket. Okay, so an asset is anything that creates income for you where you get, get income for, um, uh, for yourself. So for example, you know, we manage a, a rental property. We get money from that um, you know, every month and you know, that's an asset, right? Um, another example of an asset would be, um, yeah, so, so I've done some marketing for let's say like AWeber. I always get a check from them every month that uh, is significantly higher than you know my ser the services I pay for AWeber. So that's an asset. Every month, that's a positive asset coming into my business. Liabilities. This would be anything that you spend. So you know groceries, um, you know taxes, um, you know anything that you spend. If you buy shoes, if you buy a big screen TV, those are all liabilities. So. The, the pivotal point to understand is that the poor and the middle class work for money. Okay, so they work at a job and they get money and then they spend most of that money, very little bit, uh, on, if any, on assets. And the rich have money work for them. And that's a really important distinction and I highly recommend that you read the Rich Dad Poor Dad uh, books if you don't internalize that right now because it's such a critical point. Now this income statement, okay, and the balance sheet there's two examples. The example on the left is, you know, the poor and middle class. The example on the right is the rich. So let's see the income statement on the left. You'll see at the top, they have the job income. Um, so from the job, the income comes in as a salary, okay? Then they have their liabilities. So they pay their mortgage, their car loans, their credit card debt, and their student loans. And then they have their expenses. They pay their taxes, their mortgage payment. Um, their car payment, their credit card payment, their school loan payment. Um, so those are the expenses, expenses that they spend every month. And you'll notice that nothing's going into the, into the assets column. At the very least, what they should be doing is saving at least 10% and starting to accumulate assets with that. Okay, um, I invest in businesses all the time and I think it's, it's really important. Now on the other statement, you'll see that the rich... In this example, they still have some liabilities. You know, they have a mortgage, they have consumer loans, they have credit cards, you know, but um, they don't have the same kind of expenses. Um, there is always some fixed expenses. You're always going to have taxes, um, you know, probably a mortgage payment, um, you know, and then other things like groceries and, and so on and so forth. But the real difference here is that they have assets. So they have assets and their income is generated from these assets. It's generated from rental income, from dividends, from interest, from royalties. And so that actually creates passive income for, for them. 
one of the most important things. So if you don't if you don't know Rich Dad Poor Dad, highly recommend it. Um, even if you read it years ago, it'd be good for a, a second read right about now. Okay. So here's a guy running on the treadmill of life. Um, you know like a hamster in a cage or in a wheel or whatever, whatever the saying is. And this is the goal. Okay. Right now you need to accumulate enough income producing assets. So again, we're talking about assets that pay for all the expenses. In other words, liabilities for your desired lifestyle. So in order to not work and to not worry about money ever again, you need to have assets that produce income that pay for your housing, pay for your taxes, pay for your groceries, pay for your utility bills, pay for your, you know, cell phones, your your medical, your insurance, your entertainment, your travel, your, you know, gifts for the grandkids, um, if you're at that stage, your transportation, your, your recreation. So you need to have assets that cover all of that, okay? And most people don't. One of the things that you need to understand um, as a way to get there, and this ties back into Robert Kiyosaki saying that the rich have money working for them, is to understand the magic of compound interest. Here's the amazing thing. Once you get enough money working for you, then you no longer have to work for money. It's truly amazing. And I want you to think about that for a second. Just take a breath in and think about no longer having to work for money because of the magic of compound interest. Okay, because you've got enough money that's working for you, that's growing money for yourself. Awesome feeling, and it's my d- desire to help you get there. Okay, so we're going to talk some about, about the three options. And remember, you are going to fall into one of these categories. So, option number one is invest in the markets. So, this is like the 401, uh, maybe if, you, if you're investing in a 401k right now, uh, mutual funds, buying individual stocks, um, swing trading. Uh, investing, uh, index investing, that's where you buy like an index fund, um, like a fund that matches the S&P 500, uh, dividend investing, where you're going after companies that, um, you know, consistently pay out dividends, bonds, and uh, and C- I kind of threw in CDs there. Um, CDs, in my opinion, don't, don't even keep pace with inflation, so I wouldn't really worry about that. But... You see the inflation adjusted S&P 500 from 1950 to 2010, it's at about, you know, 8% um, that it's earned over that time, okay? So, you know, that's something to, to kind of consider, but, you know, keep in mind that a lot of what you might read might not be adjusted for, uh, for inflation and you need to keep that in mind. And the point that I'm trying to make here is that I talked to two financial planners, and this is a quote, but I don't want to actually attribute it to the person because it was told to me uh, kind of in confidence. But um, I feel like I can say it to you without attributing attributing who it was. There were two financial planners that I met. One was um, just dealing with high net worth individuals. And he said, don't expect a growth of more than about 3 to 5% on average over a 10-year time frame. Okay, so looking at 10 years, you're looking at 3 to 5%. And expect that you will see your portfolio go up significantly and down significantly during that time, right? So you could very well be five years in and be down 17% on your investment. So let's say you have $100,000 and you're down 17%. um, You know, a lot of people would freak out at that point. And, you know, at the end of the road, you're really only going to see a 3 to 5% average. So if you have $100,000 invested, let's say at 5%, you're going to earn a profit of $5,000 a year. Now, I don't know about you, but $5,000 a year, um, you know, would cover my property taxes, but, you know, probably not much more than that. It certainly wouldn't cover even, you know, what I spend on, on groceries in a year. And so keep in mind, you're going to be eating into capital. You're going to be eroding capital at that, at that time. All right. Now, this is getting a little over your head. Um, I want you to just, again, take a deep breath because you may be one of the people that does option number two, which is do nothing. So these people have their head in their sand. They're like, you know what, Andrew, like all this stuff about talking about finances and the stock markets, you know, I'm not used to that. It's too confusing. Um, You know, it's overwhelming for me. And, you know, I want to urge you not to 
take this road and, and evade responsibility because at the end of the day, you're only relying on social security, which let's face it may or may not be there. But even if it's there, it's not going to give you the kind of quality of life that, that you want. You know, you're not going to be happy doing that. So you may choose this option and maybe what, what you end up doing. But, you know, option number two is do nothing. And then option number three is do what the wealthy do. OK, and what the wealthy do, and this is invariably what the wealthy do, every single one of them, they have best in class investing for themselves, right? So they get someone who's at the top of their game, you know, a top, top stock broker, a top trader who, you know, knows what they're doing, maybe a hedge fund manager that's very, very successful. And these people, because they're the, at the best in class, they don't always but they will generally outperform the market, sometimes significantly. And I've seen some, some great examples of a lot of people who've done this, okay? Um, oftentimes, to do this, you may need a minimum investment of, you know, 100000 uh, 500000 a million dollars to get with some of these, you know, top, um, you know, top, top fund managers, the wealthy use also use compound interest to grow wealth. This is so important, right? And one of the reasons that you want to, if you are in debt, get out of debt and then start investing your money and in compounding is because debt is compound interest in reverse. It's compound interest for the people that own the credit cards, right? Uh, the banks. And so option number three is leveraging people who are really skilled in investing. And it doesn't have to be as expensive as, uh, as you think. So this is an example of um, you know, some of the traders that you can actually have investing for you. Okay. And so we have the Euro trader, you know, 130% growth in 56 weeks. So that's, you know, just about a year, 130% growth, um, steady Freddy, 35% smooth Sterling, 74%, uh, crosses, pairs and pips, 133% and Mr. Diversity, 155%. You can see that these are all in the positive, okay? And this is uh, trading on Forex using, again, what I said, these best in class um, investors that are gonna be trading for you. Now, how does this work, okay? Um, so I wanna show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how that works in a second, but I just wanna explain to you what the concept of a mirror trader is because these are mirror traders, okay? So you're gonna set up an independent Forex brokerage account, okay? I personally use FXCM. And, um, you know, I should say at this point that, you know, um, past performance is not a guarantee of future profits. So, you know, I'm just telling you what I'm doing, um, but I'm not specifically giving you in your situation financial advice. But so I set up an independent Forex broker. You can choose whichever one that you want because the Forex industry is highly regulated and the nice thing about the Forex industry is that, you know, you have an independent broker, right? So it's not tied in to these traders, okay? Now, what you can do is you can choose to have two of the iMarkets Live traders. These are professional traders, real people. And these are the five of them right now. We're actually bringing more on uh, shortly here to trade your account proportional, proportionally and simultaneously to their own trades, so that's how a mirror trader works. So for example, when the Euro, Euro Trader Master makes a trade, and let's say his portfolio is 10,000, and um, he makes a trade for 1%, that would be an $1,000 uh, trade he'd be, he'd be risking on, on, uh, on, on his account, like for example, okay? If you have a $1,000 account, you'd be risking $100 let's say on that trade, like a maximum of, of $100, okay? It's just proportional is, is what I'm trying to say. So that tr happens automatically, okay? You don't need to get a signal and log in and you know, take the trade. You don't need to log into FXCM. You don't need to, to take the trade. All happens automatically, okay? So while you're driving your kids to school, while you're at work, while you're sleeping, these trades are happening, okay? And and I don't know if you know a lot about professional traders, but professional traders, they don't, they're, they're conservative. They don't take crazy risks uh, because they hate to lose money. Um, so 
That's what I love about this. You get to choose two of these traders to trade your account. So having a mirror trader allows you to leverage from a best in class Forex trader, okay? And they'll be trading your account. You can always turn it off at any time because again, this is your own brokerage account, okay? You're not sending your, your money into iMarkets Live or you know one of these traders. It's not in a, a managed account with you know, a whole bunch of mon people's money pooled together, um, which often in, in, in many cases turns out to be, uh, turns out to be a, a scam or, or a Ponzi. Um, you have your own Forex broker, and that's an important distinction to make. So you leverage from a best in class Forex trader. There's no requirement of time. There's no requirement of the learning how to trade, no having to log in and take trades. Your performance will simply mirror that of the traders that you select, okay? And what I wanna do right now, um, we actually have a $1 special, but I wanted to get uh, right in here and show you FX Signals Live. So as you can see, this is fxsignalslive.com. I'm gonna show you how you can make a million dollars in just about four, uh, uh, four years, okay? So what this has is all the trades that, that this mirror trader ha has done. Okay, and again, you know, past performance is not a guarantee of future results, but you can see, um, you know, with this trader, you know, they, they even have had, you know, some losing, uh, some losing months, and that will happen from time to time. But overall, you're gonna see a, um, you know, uh, 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 a growth, right? That's even taking into account those losses, you still see this 125, you know, percent, uh, percent growth. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, simulation. All right. And let's say you have $10,000. Okay. In the example of the stock market, we use a hundred thousand. I'm only going to say 10,000 here, and this could be profits you make from your business that you're putting in here could be, you know, every month you, you put in a hundred dollars, a uh, hundred more dollars or 500 more dollars or a thousand more dollars or whatever it is that you want to, uh, to do. And, um, you can go out and and uh, and do that. So we're gonna pop the risk multiplier up to uh, to two. It can go up to a maximum of four, and we're gonna click simulate. Okay. So what happens in this first year, right, from April to you know April, um, you will see a growth of two hundred and fifty six percent. So your so your balance went from ten thousand to thirty five thousand dollars, six hundred and sixty five dollars a profit of $25,000, okay? And again, I want you to think here, you put in your $10,000, you, you know, took a, a long sleep on your on your couch, like Rumpelstiltskin, you woke up a year later, and that $10,000 without any of your direct work and effort has turned into 35,000, right? So we're gonna take that 35,000 and, you know, just leave it in there, see what happens in year number two. So year number two, your equity um, uh, has grown uh, and your balance has grown to $127,201, a profit of almost $100,000. Um, so $91,000 uh, 91, here. What we're gonna do, take that same uh, thing, pop it into your balance and click simulate. And boom, uh, year three, here we are. Uh, your balance is now sitting at just under half a million dollars. Okay, and guys, these, these four years are going to go by anyhow. Um, you've made a profit of three hundred and twenty-five, uh, twenty-six, four hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Okay, and let's see what happens in the fourth year. I'm going to put that in. We'll just leave it. Uh, just you know, keep rolling with it, and boom. You made a profit of $1.1 million. Your balance now is $1,618,035. So I want you to think about that. You know, that's kind of the number where you could kind of get to in four years, only starting with $10,000, not even reinvesting more profits. Because again, like if you make, you know, if you have a, a banner year, or you get a, a bonus at work. Add it in, you know, um, add it in if you want, you know, put it in in year two, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, it's always good habit to, to be reinvesting this. 
And this is the kind of thing where you can get to the point where, bam, you're like, yes, okay, I, I've got it. I can, I can walk away. I can actually see myself, you know, really having the kind of lifestyle that I want. One dollar special, guys. I would urge you to try it now. Um, don't be, don't be like number two. You know, putting your head in the sand. Uh, this is not too confusing. Um, you know, you do need to, you do need to, to kind of take advantage of what's in front of you right here. So bonus number one, you're gonna get the access to a live trading room with Christopher Terry. He's gonna call live trades and teach you live during the New York uh, stock market open and the London market open. He's gonna call out trades and he's a very successful trader. Um, you know, and he's, he'll be there answering your questions, telling you why, you know, he just, he loves, he, he loves, he breathes the stock, uh, the, uh, the Forex market and uh, the futures market. And he loves sharing that passion with you. And he wants to teach that very successful win rate. So if you want to learn to do trading, no better place than doing it live with someone who is at the top of their game. Bonus number two is the harmonic scanner. Okay, this actually scans stock price action uh, or forex price action and predicts higher than than average trades. So it lets you know when hey, there's a trade here that looks like it's it's setting up to be really good. Okay, so it gives you not only the entry point, but it gives you a target exit point where you know it thinks it will get to, and it gives you the stop loss to put in so that you know again because you never know what what's going to happen with with the markets. You want to have a stop loss, so if it if it moves in the wrong direction, you can cut your losses and you know just chalk it up at, at, at the loss and go to the next one. And again, this has a, I believe a sixty eight percent win rate. Um, which is which is extremely high, and you know very consistent. And if you're putting in the proper stop losses and and, and exit points, um, you know this this is very very uh, consistent. So effectively, this is like a signal service. Works on Mac and PC where you can be alerted and you know go in and and, and take the trade. Now you'd actually have to log into your FX signals. Um, you know, site or, you know, on your iPhone or whatever and take the trade, it, it would take, you know, a minute or so. But, um, you know, this is this is a phenomenal tool as well that, that we have and it's exclusive to, to iMarkets Live. Bonus number three is a customer referral program. Basically, you refer three, three customers and your subscription to the iMarkets Live products and services is free, okay? So, uh, that's pretty significant because then you're not cutting into your trading profits and it's all going to uh, to profits. Now, for a limited time, this is $1. Um, so take advantage of this. If you see the button here that still says $1, bam, sign up uh, because this is a special promotion price that uh, that we're doing just, um, it's actually never been done before. And I would highly encourage you to do this because look guys, you, you're at a place where you need to start realizing that you need to have money working for yourself. If you don't have money working for you, you're not gonna get to those goals. You, know, you can't just work until the end of your life and you know, expect to really have, for most people, expect to, to have the kind of lifestyle that they, that they really wanna have. So there's three options. Option number one, and you will do one of these. Option number one is invest in the stock market or mutual funds and go for your three to 5% annual return. Um, option number two is do nothing. You know, just say this is too complicated for me. It's beyond me. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to rely on the government to take care of me um, in, in my old age. And option number three is realize that there are ways, there are people that can consistently pr produce uh, results that outperform the market. And realizing that, elect the best in class traders to trade for you. Okay, just like this, you know, the Euro Master Trader, Steady Freddy, Smooth Sterling, crosses, pairs, and pips. And guys, I don't know if you if you understand this exactly, but you know, I just showed you a projection on how to turn ten thousand dollars into one point six million dollars in uh, four years. All right, and that is just the straight numbers. You can go on the site FX Signals Live. Do the, do the simulation yourself, do the calculations yourself. Think about what it, if it did, you know, 80% of that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's, and think about the amount of time that you've put in 
to do that. Um, this is something where you don't need to to worry at night and you know be tossing and turning like when you see you know Kramer going off on on the stock markets. You know they're going down. You know one talking talking head said it's going down. The other says they're going up. You know and people are in turmoil. Um, you know and, and and those people all have agendas. So keep that in mind. But this is something that I truly truly believe can help people. So if you have any questions, of course. Uh, reach out to the person that shared this video with you. And if not, you know, get started. One dollar special. Bam, just do it. Um, you know, there's never been an opportunity to get this kind of product for only a dollar. Uh, but it is available right now. All right, guys. I'll see you in the, um, in the live trading room, hopefully. And um, off on some other video. Take advantage of the special. Thanks.